Lisa from Inside the Photo Box Designs. Um, I just wanted to address a couple of questions that the group has been having in our Facebook group, Inside the Photo Box. Um, everyone's on this huge brown box, cardboard box uh, uh, photo shoot binge right now. And oh my gosh, they are so cute to see and to, uh, I love, I just love seeing all, everyone else's photos. I mean, just uh, the excitement in the air is out of this world. But people are asking um, how to use a template. Now you don't have to use a template for those, but if you want to, if you want some more refined edges, um, here's how you can use a white grid template and convert it. So I've already placed my Barbie into the template. Wow, I'm getting a lot of Facebook messages today. I've already placed Barbie into this um, template. I'm going to press Command T to transform her. I'm holding the Shift button down as I pull the edges. She's already under the template, as you can see. And I'm going to place her in here. Now, the box that I used was not really super square, so I'm actually just going to fudge it a little bit. And yeah, she looks a little bit out of proportion right now. Just uh, not that worried about it right now. Maybe just pull it out just slightly so she would be proportioned. And then um, I'd, I'd mess around with that a little bit later if I was actually making this. But what my whole point is that I want to do is I want to take this template and I want to make it the color of the box. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click on layer three. That's the grid layer. I'm going to click on this button down here to make a new layer. Here is a transparent layer. So what I want to do is I'm going to take, um, I'm going to press the eyedropper tool, the letter I, or just go to the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to select a color from the box. I'm going to try and do like a maybe a mid-range brown. Here it would make my border very dark. Here it would make it very, very light. I'm just going to go with mid-range. And now you can see that the color in here um, is brown. So I'm still selected on layer 5, my transparent layer. I'm going to go to Edit, Fill, and I'm going to select foreground color because that is the foreground right now that I have. And okay, so now I have a brown layer, but here's what you have to do. This is how the magic happens. Right click on your brown layer, create clipping mask, and voila, you now have a clipping mask that pretty much is the color of the border. Now let's say, you know, you wanted it to be a little darker. You really just do the exact same thing. Go back to edit, fill, I'm going to show you something a little different. Instead of going to foreground color, I'm going to pick color. And then it, now if I move my cursor over the image, the eyedropper is there for you. And I'm going to pick something a little bit darker, press OK, press OK. And now it changes it to a really dark color, almost black, like a really dark. I'm going to try it again and say fill still on color so now i've got my eyedropper i'm going to go much lighter maybe i prefer a lighter box oops edit fill color eyedropper press ok and ok and now i have this like tan color i think i kind of liked it the way it was in the beginning so actually i'm just going to take my eyedropper again I'm selecting a color I think I like that medium color. I'm going to go to image, fill, and I'm going to go now back to the foreground color. So what I did was, to recap, I showed you two different ways to change the color of this layer. Make sure that your layer is clip, has a clipping mask. If you release the clipping mask, it just covers the whole thing. If you press the right, if you right click and press create clipping mask, you've clipped it to the layer below you. So the two ways that I changed the color of this file was to go to image, I'm sorry, edit, fill, and you could choose the foreground color or you can choose color, select a color from there, press OK, and then OK, and then change the color. OK, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's how I would do it. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video and uh, ask me any questions in the group. Thanks.